For many years, Well Aloe have been making solar lighting in all shapes and sizes. I have used their solar lighting in the past and found them very reliable and well made. They do a six pack of solar spotlighting which I needed and wanted for my garden. These can be found on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below for the solar spotlights. A user manual is provided that gives you guidance on how to use the spotlights. It is in good English and very easy to follow. The main body is made from injection molded ABS plastic. Personally, I do like the look and design of the spotlights. They do have a look and feel of quality. With this clever design, there are two ways of fixing the spotlights. One with a stake and two with a mounting bracket. There is a total of 52 cool white bright LEDs. These are arranged in 13 clusters of four. The lighting cluster is protected by a see-through acrylic cover. The solar panel is integral to the body and is mounted on the top. The charging time for the internal battery in sunlight is between 6 and 8 hours. This will depend upon the amount of charge is left in the battery. The dimensions for the total height is 10.7 inches, that is the stake is 8.3 inches, the unit itself is 2.4 inches high and it is 4 inches wide. The head will tilt up to 90 degrees. This is quite cleverly designed. You can use either a stake or the stake interface to screw the unit to a wall or a fence. The stake simply pushes into the stake interface on the main unit. The spotlight can rotate or swivel at this joint. If you do wish to fit your unit to a wall or a fence, they do provide you with wall plugs and screws. When screwing to a wall or a fence, you will need to remove the bracket first to enable you access to the holes to screw the bracket to the wall. The rubberized waterproof switch can be found to the left of the main bracket. This is your power switch and mode switch. When first switched on, you will be in low light mode. This will give you approximately 14 hours on a fully charged battery of light. Pressing the mode switch again will give you medium light mode. This will give you approximately 12 hours of light. Pressing the mode switch for the third time will give you high light mode. This will give you approximately 8 hours of light. There is a very simple and easy way to test your lights inside the workshop. I cut a small piece of cardboard to the size of the solar panel. These lights, when switched on, will work from dusk to dawn. Covering the solar panel fools it into thinking that it is dark so the lights will operate. Pressing the power stroke mode button repeatedly will change to the different modes. This is just a simple way of demonstrating how the solar panel switches on and off the lights at dusk to dawn. These spotlights will cope with most weather conditions and has an IP rating of 65. When using the stake I would suggest strongly to push that in first before fitting your spotlight. This is to prevent any undue pressure on the bracket when pushing the unit into the ground. With darkness approaching, it's now time to test out our spotlights. All the spotlights are in place. I did not switch them on initially as I wanted to see what the difference would be in the darkness or when the lights were on. First switch on, mode 1. Second press of the mode switch, a little brighter. The third press of the mode switch takes us to full brightness. Using the spike on the spotlights, it enables you to move the spotlights around the garden and maybe like I've done here, shine on each of the garden ornaments. They have a real good effect. This is another part of the garden where I wanted to highlight the rockery. Changing to the different modes certainly makes a difference as you can see. I did spend a few nights moving the spotlights around the garden to get the best effect, so don't be afraid to experiment. The bracket will need to be removed from the spotlight to enable you to screw it to any fence or wall. 
Having the ability to screw the brackets of the spotlights to a fence is perfect for another project that I've got for putting lighting in one of my walkways. In all the different areas in my garden, whether it's the walkways like we see here now or shining on other ornaments in the garden, these spotlights certainly tick all the boxes. If you are looking for some spotlights for your garden, these are well worth considering. I hope you found this information of use to you. Thank you for watching.